My birth name is Sarah Cruzan, and I am, I believe I'm just a spiritual being having a human experience. And the way that I came to my art was being incarcerated. I was given an opportunity to kind of like express myself in a way with a competition amongst the other housing units. And I discovered that I love painting on walls and that I can create anything that I saw. And it was, it was, it was awesome. <laughs> it, was, it was cool. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed for me that through a lot of deep reflection and being mindful that when I, when I'm painting, like each stroke somehow represents for me, the, um, the fuckery, <laughs> I know it's a little bold, <laughs> The fuckery that has I, I've endured in my life, rather if that was physical, me emotional, mental, whatever. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's kind of like each stroke, it's like somehow I'm empowering myself and taking back that moment and neutralizing it mm -hmm. and then planting another seed, right? Like, all right, you know, that's how I see it. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> I've um, expressed it uh, with anger, frustration. I've expressed it through oh, creating my daughter's bedroom um, to where I feel like, no, she needs to have this. And this is exactly what's going to heal this generational trauma that was imposed back then. And then I just have to get it out. And then I get it out and then it's done. So, you know, there it's like a hodgepodge of experiences that have been tattooed upon my 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 thoughts and they randomly come up and so that's how I express my art and sometimes even the different types of art I don't stick with one type of art whatever I'm feeling is what will come out I think it's great it's a great outlet for individuals who've been deeply impacted by traumas and abuse. You know, I, I've only been out a few, a little bit of time. So it's like in comparison to what I experienced before going to prison in comparison to what I experienced while I was in prison, I'm still an, an infant in my new life. So I don't know. It's kind of exciting, you know, mm -hmm. to see how it all plays out. If you want to know my life and you want to, you want to hold this space with me, then I need you to see it from my eye. And I don't know if everyone's able to handle it, seeing it from my eyes, because my thing is, is if you're willing to be curious or you just want to be nosy or you just want to, know, you know, yeah. no. If you want to know what happened and if, and if you really want to make a change and you're going to feel it in the very DNA and RNA that I, we had to feel it. That's yeah. how I feel. I don't want people. I mean, I, I don't know if we need a liability, but like, I don't, I feel like people to make a change have to feel the, the uncomfortableness yeah. that we go through yeah. in the real way without making it okay for them. Because the more we make it okay for those that's never had the experience, the more we suffer. That's how I feel. I feel like I've given so much of my life and my experiences, and it's been told by other people. I've had to stand up and, and raise money for organizations, and I did it because I believe I was chronoing. You know what I mean? I was in that yeah. space where everyone wanted to sit down and have a, an I statement conversation. But, it, but people out here, they don't want to sit down and have that I statement conversation yeah. because they never had to be accountable to the fact that, to the level and the depths that we've had. So yeah. when I show up, I do show up. I'm uncomfortable. I'm a little, I'm a little brash. I'm a little intentional. I'm a little bit of everything because I'm a reflection of what was given to me, you know? And yeah. if it can't be that raw and ugly and naked and, and, and I want them to feel the level of vulnerability that we felt every time that we had to be stripped out for, for what just, just to be stripped out. I hope with this experience that the people that show up, like for, you know how they show up for jury duty and some of them want it and some of them don't, but they, the ones that 
get selected. It's like, okay, I'm going to make this decision based on the facts and the situation. And they weigh out this and basically like, you know, sometimes those facts can be a little bit off yeah. or a little bit strangled or a little bit stifled or a little bit like, Oh, you know, there's so many aspects to the, to the whole story. And I, I just want to invite people to come with, with such a beautiful openness so that we don't continue to keep people in prison based on just a little bit of information we get. Like, mm -hmm. let art be the infinite amount of information so that someone can make a decision based on something that they innately know. Mm -hmm.